I started style blogging three years ago and I've pretty much been unorganized my whole life. <laughs> 2020, some of my goals include being more organized, creating consistent content, and kind of Danny getting her groove back. Like Stella got a groove back, but different. So every month I try to shoot four style blogs. That means in one shoot, I'm gonna shoot at least four outfits. Sometimes I shoot three outfits, but I try to do four outfits at a time because that gives me one style blog a week. And that's consistent, consistency. For somebody very wild and free, that usually doesn't work for me. I'm gonna be meeting Rachel, my photographer, in about two hours, so I wanted to bring you along to show you kind of our vibe and like how we work together, and she's just really awesome. She shot our wedding. She has shot everything for my blog from the very beginning of me doing this. I don't even know how I found her. But definitely give her a follow. There's exciting things happening for her. And I'm just like super jacked for fashion 2020. There's some really cool trends that I'm absolutely in love with, like the tangerine color that is gonna be everywhere and it pretty much looks good on everyone, even blondes. Also, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting that outfit done as well. And my favorite print. I'm kind of just grabbing sleeves randomly to see what comes up. My favorite print. I love a pop of color because it works with full leather. And of course, there was one piece that I didn't get to last year and I'm not giving up on it. And that's the boiler suit. Special surprise. I'm gonna try to kind of do a little Paris, a little punk with the outfits that I have on the rack. These are gonna be style blogs that are coming up that you can find on badtotheblonde.com backslash blog. So we're gonna see all this stuff. So the first thing that I did for my shoot was kind of pull together these outfits that I like and I try to layer on my accessories. To complete a look, accessories are key. I'm not a big person on jewelry except I love earrings. Uh, these kind of are just like my favorite because they're big but they're black and white so they kind of go with everything. I have laid out all of my accessories that I'm gonna be shooting. I'm bringing all of these with today. Some of this might look kind of funky, so I kind of just bring with accessories and then layer them on accordingly to the places and locations that we're at to see if the vibe fits. So I kind of have that free spirit on, hey, if it works, let's do it. If not, who cares? I don't take it too seriously. This is supposed to be really fun. I am obsessed with baseball caps that are feminine. These are from badtotheblonde.com. They have cute branding on the inside. The hats that you get at your major retailer are not as cool and they don't have a nice metal buckle on the back or the cool branding. So these full leather baseball caps are gonna be really fun to play with today. A big trend that I'm loving lately is the opaque tights. I love black tights. Last year I did a how to wear shorts in the winter post and I'm gonna do another one of those since it was really popular. And I have a different take on it now. Little fictional handbag because I'm too poor to buy a real one. And then of course, all of my shoes that I'm gonna try to pair with this. I kind of always pack an extra pair of shoes just because these are my awesome Valentino sneakers that my husband got me as a sweet surprise. Of course, you can't go wrong with a little Cinderella vibe. These were my Louboutin wedding boots. Girls, tip, if you're looking to get married, buy a freaky pair of shoes that you're gonna wear again. I am obsessed with booties, they're my jam. Booties, booties, booties. That's pretty much all I wear. And of course, since my 15 year old self didn't get these, my 33 year old self did. <laughs> So that kind of explains kind of like my little Paris, little punk kind of vibe. I love any leather type of accessories. Of course, black is just a really big color right now. And so I'm gonna kind of go jam out and play around with some really cute pieces. 
So every time I'm prepping for a photo shoot or going out for the day, going out for the night, I steam my clothes. Get yourself a steamer. I'll leave this in the link in the description because you need it and it's under $30. And I'm gonna change into my first outfit and just make sure that everything looks okay before I meet Rachel. So if I need to make any last minute changes, I can. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of the outfits I'm gonna shoot. These just look a little too chunky for the Paris vibe that I'm looking for, even though I do have on this like band tee. These are just, I think, too much edge and I wanna wear these in another look. So I think I'm gonna wear the clear heels. So, especially with these lines on this jumpsuit, if you obviously stand straight on, it's not gonna be very flattering. So I'm gonna really have to move my body and use the belt to create some curves. A lot of side stuff will be cute. And I decided to take the boiler trend into a spring vibe by layering over a band t-shirt. Creative. So I'm gonna wear my wedding booties with the Valentine's Day outfit because I wanna tie in the white, the lighter denim wash to my shoes. And then it gives me a chance to wear these again. And I've had this really cute clutch from Kate Spade for probably six years. And I just find it so freaking cute. And I kind of just liked the kind of card vibe, I guess, going on with the hearts, queen of hearts. So I'm gonna just tie this in for another pop of color. And I just think it's really cute. So for this really cute kind of gothic Barbie look, Barbie goes punk, Doc Martens for sure. These are just like the cutest. I did a, what Americans call the front tuck, what the French call the French tuck, or the Europeans I should say, I'm probably even saying that wrong and I've worked in fashion for three years, but I front tucked the sweater to give me some shape and to really highlight the paper bag waist on these faux leather shorts. I am in love with these shorts and I wasn't gonna pay $150 for a pair of faux leather when faux leather is fake. <laughs> so, sorry BCBG, I went with this pair and there's a link in the description below if you wanna get a pair of these for yourself for under 20 bucks and not 120 bucks. I just love the cute little like tights. I love the tight thing, makes me feel not so pasty white. And really I guess if I really wanted to, I could probably tuck it completely in. Maybe not. No, I'm just gonna leave it out. Definitely gonna leave it out. The paper bag waist is just so cute. And of course I'm wearing a black bra, but it kind of works with the vibe, so I don't really care. I love this bag. I've used it in a lot of my shoots because it kind of adds like a little touch of jewelry for a look that doesn't have jewelry to it. So I'm okay with that. 
And I can't go wrong with the kind of the gold accents and how it fits the vibe of this outfit. So I'm probably gonna utilize this bag with this look. So I am dressed for my first look with Rachel. So when I show up, I'm dressed and I'm ready to shoot. And as soon as we get to the location, between her and me, we can kind of scout out, okay, should we like use a parking garage for this? Should we use like a city crossing walk type of vibe? Because I would wear Doc Martens to work. Set your own rules. <laughs> Bad to the blog.com. I'm pretty sure my mom used to dress me in shorts and tights. I think that's why I like this so much. <laughs> and sweaters. Let's go shoot some pics. Let's go take some pics. Click, click, click. I feel good about this. I feel good, I'm dressed. I feel like I'm kind of like going to school. One of my favorite little tips and tricks for style blogging on the go is packing your clothes in a laundry basket versus a backpack. This way you can kind of see what you have to work with. Like I said, I kind of like to show up and then depending on the location, add certain accessories Maybe the hats aren't gonna kinda work when I get there, or maybe Rachel's like, okay, this does look really weird, even though you think it looks cute. So I usually always listen to her advice. So I'm just gonna pack up my extra pair of shoes. I always put my shoes on the bottom because they're dirty. I actually have two extra pair of shoes because I didn't use either of these, but you never know. Boots. I'm gonna pack up my handbag. My other handbag. Another handbag, little clutch. I'm gonna pack up my two hats. The good thing about these is they pop right back up and they don't leave creases. And because some of my things will wrinkle or I'll forget to wear a certain accessory with a certain Outfit, I will hang up a few pieces in the back of my truck to keep them from wrinkling. Exhibit A, linen sucks to travel with and I'm not obviously gonna go to a parking lot and steam this again. So some stuff I will leave on a hanger for the most part, everything will go in here and then I'm ready to go. And just like that. Let's go. In case we found our first location, this is the cute little pink outfit that I just showed you. We're gonna take some pics and move around this parking ramp. Why not? <laughs> Can you get like low with that block? Lost my phone. <laughs> oh my God. You too, girl. Don't be getting in trouble without me. <laughs> Look at Josie found me in the video. <laughs> she went to Hi. She made my Love day at my uh, corporate job. Not hell. <laughs> I'll see you, okay, okay girl? Okay, love you. You too, you love soon. you too. Keep in touch. Bye, nice to meet you. Okay, back to work since I got interrupted. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Should we use the crosswalk? Or come back here again? Yeah, just a couple. Maybe not even against the wall, that's the end of the Just kind of get in the light. And just like that, that's a wrap. Me and Rachel are back. Link in the description below to follow her on Instagram, me on Instagram. Big things are coming guys, 2020. 
all because of this. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Thanks for watching my channel. Please hit subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's anything that you'd like to see specifically, style, style tips, my favorite pieces, anything about my style, please comment and I can produce those types of videos for you. Badgetheblonde.com, check it out. That's where you can get clothing from my clothing line. And I would love to see you in something like this. Because this stuff is cuter than this. It's pretty much my everyday outfit. Thanks for watching.